Hi, welcome back to the channel. We'll be using this question to further understand modern analysis in DC networks. Now, the first thing we'll be doing for this network to use modern analysis is to select our nodes. Now, obviously, there are three nodes here. We have node A. This is my node A. I'll tag this node A. Then this is a second node, which can target node B. And obviously, at the base here, we have my third node. Now, if you look at this, you might be confused to say we have four nodes, but rather we have three nodes. This is the third node. I can redraw my network to begin to look like this. Why? Because there is no element between any of these joints here. So they form a node, as you can see in this new diagram. So we'll be using this diagram as this is my A, that's node A, where we'll have VA, and this is node B, where we'll have VB. And obviously, here is my is my reference node. Now, so let's let's begin to pick our current. I I said this is node A, VA, here's node B, VB, and here is the reference node. Now, if I have current flowing through this cell, the 400 volt cell, we can tag that as my I1. It gets to this junction. Then at this point, I can have my I2. Here, I can tag this I3. While from here, I can tag this A5 so that I'll tag the one flowing in this line here. I'll tag it I4. Now let's start with node A. Now at, at node A, remember we're using nodal analysis at node A, not nodal, at node A. You can say that my I2, I1 will be equals to I2 plus I3. Remember the total number of currents leaving the cell. The total number, remember the sum of the current leaving the node is equal to the sum of the current entering the node. Now we'll begin to define our voltage equations. So that for each of the currents, we can now begin to look at each of the currents and draw out equations for each of them. Now for A1, I have 400 volts minus 20 I1 minus VA equals zero my earlier lessons i have explained why i am i used minus va i'm going to use minus va because i'm going from an higher potential from this potential point here to a lower potential the reference node zero so that 400 minus va over 20 will be equals to i1 now in the same light if you look at i3 i3 is between va and and my 80 ohm so that VA is equals to 80 I3. Invariably, I3 is equals to VA over 80. Now, let me just use this, please. I'm trying to. Now, for the I2, for my I2, I2 is between VA and VB. Now, we'll pick it from the reference node 0 to VA, from VA to VB, and from VB back to the reference node. So, I'll be saying that from VA minus I2, 15 minus VB equals zero. So that VA minus VB over 15 is equals to I2. And with this, I have defined for the three currents, I3, I1, and I2. Now, in my equation that says I1 is equals to I2, plus I3, I can now begin to say that my I1 is 400 minus VA over 20, the same thing as I2 is VA minus VB over 15 plus I3, I3 is VA over 80. So that my 400 over 20 minus VA over 20, now, I want to I want to quickly do something. I want to I'll split this and bring it back to the other side. So that this becomes minus VA over 15. I have minus VB. Bringing this to the other side becomes plus VB over 15 minus VA over 80 is equals to zero. Now, 20 here is one. 20 in 400 is 20. Now I have minus VA, minus VA, minus VA, and I have plus VB. 
Okay. I can do a quick one because of this multiple fraction. Let's multiply through by 80 first. If I multiply through by 80, it is the highest denominator here. This becomes 80 times 20, that becomes 1,600 minus 4VA. This is 4VA minus 80 over 15. That's 16 over 3. 16 over 3 VA plus 16 over 3 VB. VB, this is a B. Minus VA. 80 divided by 80 is 1. That's equals to 0. You can begin to... Okay, I still have 3. Still looking ambiguous. Now let's multiply through by 3. So that I have this as 4,000. 800 minus 12 VA minus 16 VA plus 16 VB minus 3 VA is equals to 0. Now, so that 4800 minus VA, 12 VA minus 16 VA plus or minus 3 VA, that's 31 VA minus 31 VA plus 16 VB equals to 0. You can rearrange this to become 31 VA plus, or minus, sorry, minus, this is minus, not plus, this is minus, permit me, minus 16 VB equals to 4, 8, 0. Now this is, let's call this my equation 1, that's from node 1. Now we'll do the same thing again for, for node Okay, I've simply drawn my diagram so that at node 2, let's pick node 2. Here's node, node 2. At node 2, we have I2 entering the network and we have I5 also entering so that I2 plus I5 will be equals to I4. I4 is leaving the network. Now let's define our equations for each of the currents. Now we've established that I2 is equals to VA minus VB over 15. And as easy as possible to we should know that I4 is equals to VB over 90. Now in case you miss our introductory lessons, you, you will place a link in the description. And to ensure you don't miss our lessons anytime we create them, please do hit the subscribe button. So you'll be sure to get our lessons anytime we create them. Now let's define for, for I5. We have that for I5, 200 minus I5 times 10 minus VB is equals to 0. So that we can conclude that 200 minus VB over 10 is equals to I5. Now, let's substitute in this equation. We have I2 plus I5 is equals to I4. So that in place of I2, we're saying that this is VA minus VB over 15. Plus I5 is 200 minus VB over 10 is equals to VB over 90. Now I can I can just split them or I can, let me, let's split them or multiply them by 90. Okay, let me take it step by step at once. Now this is VA over 15 minus VB over 15 plus 200 over 10 that's 20 minus vb over 10 is equals to vb over 90. i would prefer to collect like terms let vb come to this side then 20 goes to the other side and we'll multiply through by 90. okay so that i'll have va over 15 minus vb over 15 minus vb over 10 minus vb over 90 is equals to minus 20. Let's multiply through by 90. So I'll be saying that VA 90 divided by 15. I think that's 6. That's 6. 90 divided by 30, that's 2. 30 times 3, that's 6. 90 divided by 15, that's 6. So that this is 6 VA minus 6 VB minus 9 VB minus VB equals to minus 20. So that this is 6 VA minus 16 VB equals to minus 
20. Now we can tag this as my second equation, equation 2. Now let's draw both equations and begin to solve our problem. Okay, equation 1 says 31VA minus 16VB is equals to 480. That's 31VA minus 16VB is equals to 4000. 800. Let me just make sure I don't, I didn't leave anything outstanding. Okay, let's look at equation 2. Equation 2 says 6VA minus 16VB is equals to minus 20. Oh, I made a mistake. Let's correct that. When we did, when we multiplied 2 by 90, I didn't multiply the 20 by 90. So this is obviously not minus 20. That's minus my lighting pen is not selecting. That is minus 180. I just saw that now. 6VA. 6VA minus 16VB is equals to minus 1,800. Now we can subtract equation 2 from equation 1. If I'm subtracting, this will become minus 6. This will become plus and this will become plus. So that this and this gives you for each other 21 VA minus 6 VA that's 25 VA is equals to 4800 plus 1008. I think I need to call up my calculator. Okay, 4800 plus 1800. 6,600. 6,600. Now, VA obviously is the same thing as 6,600 divided by 25. That's divided by 25. That's equals to 264. 264 volts. Now, if VA is equal to 264 volts, Know that 31 VA, or that might be cumbersome, might be a little bit cumbersome. We know that 6 VA, 6 VA, let's use equation 2, minus 16 VB is equals to minus 1800 from equation 2. So that this is 6 into 264 minus 16 VB is equals to minus 1. So that minus 16 VB will be equals to minus 1, 8, minus 6 times 264 times 6, 1584. 1584. Now that means this is a minus 16 VB will be equals to 1584 plus 1, 8, plus 1, 8. I'm doing this because I want to walk you through my mind map. That's minus 384. Minus will cancel minus. This is VB. Obviously, VB will be the same thing as 384 over 16. Divided by 16. 211. That's equals to 211. 5 volts. Now with this we can solve for any of the currents. If you look, let's start with um, I1. If you want to solve for I1, all you need to do is use this equation here and solve for I1. If you desire to solve for I3, you can solve for I3, solve for I1. I1 says 400 minus VA over 20 is equals to I1. So I'll be saying I1 is equals to 400 minus VA over 20. My VA is the same thing as 264. That will be 400 minus 264 over 20. That will be the same thing as, so that I1 will be equals to 400 minus 264. That's 400 minus 264 equals divided by 20. 20 equals 6.8. So I1 is 6.8 amps. You can also solve for I2. Let's solve for I2. I2 will come from 
I2 will come from VA minus VB over 15. That I2 is equal to VA minus VB over 15, which is equal to VA minus VB. VA is 264 minus 211.5 over 15. So that I2 will be the same thing as 264 minus 211.5. 264 minus 211.5. That's equal to this divided by 15. Let's just do it at once. That's 3.5. That's 3.5 amps. You can you can just try your hands on all other current components. With this, I hope you understand how to work with nodal analysis. In our next lesson, we would proceed with nodal analysis. Thank you for staying with us and I hope you have subscribed to our channel. To ensure you get further lessons, please ensure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you in our next class.